What? If you see my good-for-nothing husband, Yalfi, tell him I want back what he stole from me. Perhaps you can help me. My husband's name is Yalfi, the Contemptible. My father said I was a fool to marry him, but I didn't listen. At our wedding, my father gave us a family heirloom as a gift. Rock Shatter, a mace that's been in my family for many generations. Yalfi snatched Rock Shatter from our mantle and took off to find his fortune with the local marauder gang at Fort Strand. I want that mace back. Please, I don't think he's ever coming back. And I'd hate to lose such a precious heirloom to a gang of thugs. Please bring back Rock Shatter. It... Greetings. Do you have business at Castle Skingrad? I'm afraid the Count does not see anyone without an approved appointment. Do you have an appointment? I see. Please, wait here one moment. I shall speak with the Count. Farewell. Oh, hello. I can't believe it. The Great Bridge has been beaten. There's a new Arena Grand Champion now, someone called Lady Luck. Is this true? No doubt. Have you heard about Kvatch? They say that Daedra came from Oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. By the gods! Sure. Good day. Bye. Hello. Sorry, you want me? I'm Shandro Yarog, the Count's butler. Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Bye. How can I help you? Good morning. I understand you're looking for a cure for vampirism. This is fortunate as I also seek the cure. I wish to tell you a story so that you might understand why I would trust you with my secrets. Would you hear it? More than 50 years ago, my wife Rona and I were both turned into vampires. While I came to embrace the changes in myself, she did not. She hated what she had become, and refused to feed to keep herself healthy. 
She eventually slipped into a coma, from which she is not awoken. My trusted servants have cared for her all this time, but I wish for her to at last find peace. The cure is for her. I have researched what I can, but acquiring the cure is beyond my grasp. I cannot risk drawing too much attention to myself. So I would ask that you take up the search on my behalf. If you are successful, I will reward you in whatever small way I can. Will you aid me? What little I have discovered points to the witches of Glen Morrill. In the past, they have been capable of creating a cure. I have searched for these witches throughout Cyrodiil, but no coven still exists within its borders. There may be one left. I have unconfirmed reports of a woman seen near the Corbolo River, who fits the description of these witches. Seek her out, and learn whether she can help. She lives somewhere along the river, east of the Imperial City and south of Chaden Hall. If you are successful in finding a cure, report to my steward. You have my thanks. Go ahead, please. Bye. How are you?
What brings you to this neck of the woods, my lady? Oh my! What makes you think I would know about such a thing? Oh my dear, I gave up witchcraft a long, long time ago. But a cure for vampirism, that's something I haven't thought about in quite some time. Very challenging and potentially dangerous. If you do a little something for me, I'll help you. How does that sound? I have my own interests, and they occasionally require resources that are difficult for me to acquire. Soul gems, for example. If you can bring me five empty grand soul gems, I'm quite sure I can help you with this cure that you seek. I shall await your return. Bye. Hello, wizard. If you need to get rid of something quickly, check out the copious coin purse. Thoranir isn't too picky, which is nice. help you with. Can I interest you in some of my wares? A bargain at any price. A pleasure. Safe travels. Greetings, Evoka. Good tidings, citizen. You'll never leave the feedback on an empty stomach. They sure do sell food. Yep, you can buy food there. <sighs> Goodbye. Be seeing you. Martina Floria, Master Enchanter for the Mages Guild. Welcome to the Chironasium. Enchanting, isn't it? Always keep your magical equipment. Good day. Hello. Greetings, Breton. Morning.
Greetings to you. Morning. Today. Yes, I'm Boderi Ferrano, Mage's Guild. You want advanced training in mysticism? Be safe. Kind of deep. What can I interest you in? Goodbye, please. citizen. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell. But it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Thanks again. Tertullian, Sergius, and Cicero. Let's do business. You too.
I have everything for the budding alchemist under... Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. You too. Welcome to the Mystic Emporium. Calendil is here, with all your needs. Can I interest you in some of my wares? I'm... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Supposed to good to see you again. Oh dear. Well, there's still time, is there not? Be How are you? I'm Trayvon. We don't much my fa I admit. Bye. How are you? Anytime, friend, I'm right here. What's new with you? Saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. Ugly little animals. Ugly things with their thick shells and sharp claws. I avoid them. Goodbye. Greetings, Evoker. How are you today? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. The Vera Romulan seems pleased that so many folks drink at the Newman's Lodge. She takes great pride in it. She runs a good inn, and she's proud of it. Goodbye.
Have pity on an old war veteran. I'm listening. Well met. Goodbye. It's my... Good day. My name is... Can I interest you in some of my wares? Thank you. Bye. Hi there. 